Welcome to my Biolavi's Body Blitz workout, Fitball Inner Thighs and Abs. For today's workout, all you will need is a Fitball and an exercise mat. Okay, let's get started with a warm up. Just come down on the mat and put the Fitball in between your knees, resting back on your hands like this and just start squeezing in on your ball. So you're just making sure that your posture is really nice and upright, you're not hunching through the shoulders and you're just squeezing in lightly with your knees. Now, a trick when you're first starting off with fit ball work is not to have too much air in your ball. Otherwise, you might find this a little bit too strenuous or it might even pop out and fly across the room. So try to let a little bit of air out. Hold your tummy in to protect your back and just squeeze. Looking straight ahead once you see the exercise, just warming up those inner thighs, keeping your feet nice and flat on the ground and parallel to the edges of the mat. Just go for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now coming down onto your elbows, I want you to extend your legs. So reposition the ball if you have to. Make sure it's in between your knees and point your toes and just extend your legs and squeeze. So what we're doing in this position is engaging our lower abs. You're keeping your legs really straight and just squeezing in, trying to really change the shape of that ball. Squashing in on both sides. Make sure that you're not hunching your shoulders here. I know it's tempting just to relax right into it, but keep your neck nice and long. And you should be starting to feel that fire. It doesn't take long. Inner thighs are quite a small muscle group and they're very underused. So as soon as you start doing anything like this, you will feel the burn very quickly. If you find your abs are not strong enough to hold your legs in this position, you can lie all the way down and put your legs straight up in the air. The more diagonal your legs are, the harder it is on your abs. Squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to bend and extend your legs. So in and out. So you're going to have to fiddle around with the ball a little bit to make sure that you've got it in a position where it doesn't pop out. In and extend. All the way in, extend. Trying to keep your legs hovering above the ground. And once again, the more horizontal your legs, the harder this is on your lower abs. So if you want to, just extend up like this. Makes it a bit easier, but if you can, try and make them almost parallel to the floor. In and extend. In and out. Breathing through it. Relaxing your upper body. All the way out. In and out. For five and out. Four and out. Three, extend. Two, extend. And last, one. Okay, just coming up for a second, loosening up through those inner thighs by just wiggling out to the side. Now coming back down, and this time I want the ball between your ankles rather than between your knees. So bringing it up, if you want to, you can come all the way down. I've got a mic on, so I can't actually lie all the way down, but you can do that. So now start rotating your feet with the ball in between your ankles. Rotating side to side. You're really thinking about keeping your legs nice and straight. And even though you probably feel this, just holding your legs in this position, I do want you to squeeze in on that ball with those inner thighs. So rotate and squeeze, maintaining that squeeze the entire time. So you should see little indents on each side of the ball. Rotate. This is working your obliques as well. So don't worry if you're really kind of shifting from side to side through your waistline. That's getting into that muffin top area that we also want to target. Side and side, side and side for five and four and three and two and one. Keeping your legs straight, we're going to drop down to the side, straight up and to the other side. So you can see I'm shifting my legs side to side, so it's a diagonal. Down, straight up, down. So it's almost like reaching towards the edges of the mat. All the way down and up. This is quite advanced, so if this pace is too fast for you, just slow it down. 
You can even bend your legs here like this, and that will make the lever shorter and the movement easier. But if you can, do a few with straight legs. Down and up, down and up. Just go for four more and straight. Three and up, two and up, and last one. Nice job. Okay, we're going to come into a side position now. So what I want you to do is prop yourself up on one elbow, bring your leg in front, bend the other one behind, and put the ball on your knee. So we are diagonally extending that leg to the edge of the mat, and we're going to lift up. So what we're doing here is just using that ball like a weight. Even though it's just got air in it, it has actually got a bit of weight to it. And I'm sure you're gonna feel it after having done all those squeezes already. So just lift up, making sure that your neck is nice and long, you're not hunching through those shoulders, your tummy's pulled in tight, and you're just pushing that leg up to the ceiling. Try not to rest your leg all the way down to the mat. Hover it above the mat and then push up. You should really be feeling this in your inner thigh. Your leg is turned out so that your knee is facing the front of the room. And up, and up. Really squeezing. That fire is building, I can feel it. I'm sure you can too. Just go for eight, seven, six, five. Just four, three, two, one. Now bend the knee, extend. Bend and extend. Keeping that leg on the same horizontal plane, if you want to, shift your ball slightly further up so it's kind of more on your shin rather than your ankle. That will help you, unless you've got really long arms, it can be hard to keep that ball in place. In and extend. You should feel this at the front of your hip flexors as well. So we're targeting all different muscles in your thighs. In and extend. For five, and out, four, out, three, out, two, and last one. Now remember to reshift your position so that you're not hunching. Keep that leg up, forward, and in. So you're just kicking your leg slightly to the front of the mat and back towards the other leg. Keeping it up, hovering high. Really think about squeezing throughout your entire leg. You're pointing your toe long, so you're really lengthening the leg at the same time as strengthening your inner thigh muscles, creating long, lean lines. Okay, so keep your leg up. I know it's feeling really heavy now but we need to try to keep it up a little bit longer. Then we'll switch sides so it won't be so bad. Eight, seven, six, and five, and four, three, two, one. Put it down for one second, pick it back up, and we're gonna go high, and we're just going to hold it there. Isometric hold, squeezing everything in that leg. Try to push down on the ball a tiny bit to increase the intensity. Keep holding it, and now we're just gonna pulse. Tiny pulses, last exercise. Hold it up as high as you can, and pulse up. Little tiny movement. This should be totally on fire. Your leg should be quivering with the burn. Keep it up. The higher the better. Hold your tummy in, protect your back. Go for just 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Awesome job. That was not easy. Just stretch it out for a second by taking your legs out and bending forward. So you should feel a nice stretch through your inner thighs. And we're gonna move to the other side, okay? So I'm just gonna swing my legs around. And once again, line up your back with the back of the mat. Your elbow is underneath your shoulder. Your back leg is against the back of the mat like that. Bend front leg diagonally to the corner. Put your ball on your knee and start raising up. Relaxing through your upper body, breathing deeply, keeping your tummy pulled in, and really focusing on that inner thigh. This leg is fresh, so you should be able to go quite high without feeling too much pain as yet. And make sure you're not plonking that leg down onto the mat at the bottom. I want it floating gracefully, up and down. Point through the toe, 
Lock out behind the knee, make your leg really long. Don't bend that knee. Up and down. Try not to roll too much towards the back. Keep your chest facing the front of the room. And breathing deeply. If you find that this isn't hard enough, you can push down on that ball even more. This is a similar exercise to what we do using hand weights, but because the ball is a little bit lighter, just adding that extra pressure with your hand will increase the intensity. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Now in and extend, in and extend. So if the ball is wiggling around a little bit, just move it further up so your hand can reach it better. Keep that leg off the ground. You're moving the leg in the same horizontal plane. So you're not coming down. You're keeping it high in and extend. Really feeling it in those hip flexors at the front of the leg and point away and push your way long. Extending that leg, lengthening that leg, slimming those thighs really working as much as you can. The fast pace will help to keep your heart rate high as well, so you will be burning some extra calories. Just go for eight, seven, and six, and five. Just four, three, two, one. Make sure that you're comfortable in your upper body, holding that leg straight out and to the front and in front and in. So you're just sweeping the leg out and back towards the other leg. Once again, keeping your inner thigh up at all times. Don't turn your knee to the ceiling. Out and in. If your foot ever cramps, then just relax your toes and point your foot rather than pointing your toes, if that makes sense. Keep that leg straight. Really tensing through the core the entire time to keep your upper body straight and really strong and still so you're not wiggling around through your hips. The only thing that should be moving is that leg and the arm that's holding the ball. Forward and back, forward and back. Eight, seven, six and five, four and three and two, and one, drop it down for a second, readjust. Bring it high and hold it. Holding it up there. My leg is shaking. If your leg isn't shaking, then you haven't been lifting high enough. Push down on that ball, keep your leg up. Breathe through the burn. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And last thing, mini pulses up. Mini, mini pulses. Ah, oh, you should really, really be feeling this burning all that fat off the muscle, chiseling away at your thighs, getting that nice, long, streamlined look that all those dancers have. This is how you're gonna get it. But you gotta persevere with the pain. No pain, no gain. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Okay, we're just gonna move on to some abs to give those inner thighs a little bit of a break. I just wanna stretch out. Nice wide stance with your legs and push your bum to the back, so a nice child's pose with your legs apart. And then coming up, we're just going to do a few planks on the ball. So what I want you to do is just keep your knees on the ground and put your hands on the top here. Okay, so we're just going to stretch out so that our body is nice and flat. And even just holding this position, you will feel your abs engaging. So you're bringing your knees close together, keeping your feet on the floor, squeezing through your abs, lifting tall away from that ball, and holding everything in, looking straight ahead. And we're gonna start little rolls out with our elbows. So forward and in, forward and in. The further you go forward, the more you will feel it in your abs. Try not to slouch. Keep your body upright and keep that 90 degree angle in your arms so that you know you're not sinking down and slouching towards the ball. Forward and in. So you're rolling, making this a fluid motion. Forward 
and in. All the way out and in. Just three more and in. Two and in. Last one and in. Great job. Now moving on to a little bit of inner thigh on the ball. So what I want you to do is come forward and actually move forward so that your legs are in between, uh, the ball is in between your legs and you can squeeze in this position. So you're in a plank position, just position yourself in the way that you can squeeze and hold your upper body straight. What we're doing is we're engaging our abs in this plank position and we're also squeezing on the inner thighs. The further forward you roll, the more you're gonna feel this. So as you start to get used to this position, you can roll even further forward and engage your abs more by keeping less of your body on the ball. So I can feel this in my inner thighs a lot more now. Make sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders, abs are nice and tight, looking down at your mat and squeeze. So just holding this plank is working our abs and our back and our arms and this squeezing action is getting back into those inner thighs in a slightly different way. Squeeze, squeeze. This should be burning. I can feel it really bad. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Now coming back safely onto the ball, we're going to roll a little bit further back. You might actually need to come off Shift your ball further back so it's underneath your shins. And now, getting back into that perfect plank position, holding everything in, bring your knees to your chest and roll back. Knees in and out. The more advanced you are, the further you want your ball down towards your feet. So if you're not feeling this enough, then walk your feet out more to have less of your legs on the ball. Your upper body is really strong in this plank and you're just pulling in and out. In and out. Really breathing through it, really holding your tummy in as tight as you can to support your core. For five and straight. Four and out. Three, out, two, and out and last one and out awesome job coming down I want you to keep your foot up on that ball and stretch down with your hips pressing towards the back so you're stretching out your inner thigh we've got one more set of exercises for inner thigh and then we're done so this is a short and sweet workout roll over to the other side leg up and stretching down stretching down as far as you feel comfortable. Just getting that nice stretch in there. We're going to go back into that position we were in at the very beginning, where we're down on our elbows with the ball between our ankles, okay? So it's positioned it really nice and high. And we're going to make sure that our neck is nice and long. Looking up at our ball, we're going to go turn, squeeze, squeeze, turn. Squeeze, squeeze, point your toes, squeeze, squeeze turning and squeezing so you're turning squeeze squeeze turn the lower your legs are the harder this is for your abs down squeeze squeeze turn so if you can lower your legs down to a 45 degree angle squeeze squeeze twice squeeze twice every time you're lowering that leg you should feel your obliques on the same side as the lowered leg. Squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Now coming back in, we're going to bend and extend our legs, but we're trying to send the ball out towards the end of the mat. So don't keep them right underneath like this. Just send it out, bend and extend. Holding onto that ball with your shins and ankles, looking straight ahead, 
holding your tummy in, bend and extend, bend and extend. Really long, really graceful, trying to make it look effortless even though it hurts really bad. Squeeze in on that ball, don't forget the squeeze. Don't slouch through your shoulders, neck nice and long, down and up. And kick for five and four and three and two. One, keep it up. Last thing, flex your feet and squeeze. Fast squeezes with flexed feet. Last thing for those inner thighs. Really burning it out. Oh, this feels really, really, really sore. But keep going. Last exercise, you can do it. Keep squeezing. Oh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. You're done. Oh, put it down, roll it away, and stretch forward. Stretch those poor inner thighs out. You would have felt it in your abs, in your inner thighs, your hip flexors. This isn't just an isolated workout. That's why the football is so great, because it really utilizes a lot of muscle groups at the same time. And without any impact, really great for people that have had injuries in the past. Just rolling from side to side and then sitting up tall. And I want you to bring one leg in and we're gonna stretch out our hamstrings a little bit as well. Just stretching down, chest towards the leg. And then swinging that leg around and just doing a pigeon stretch because we did work the glutes a little bit there as well. Everything's interconnected, so it always helps to stretch out every part of that leg. And then coming to the other side, leg in front, chest towards your thigh. Really nice and low, but don't round your back. And then shooting that leg to the back into a pigeon pose and just leaning over that leg. And then swinging your leg to the back and just coming into a cobra stretch, stretching out the front of your abs, breathing in. Really nice, lengthening out all those muscles and then pushing towards the back in a child's pose. Stretching your arms long. Those planks work the arms a little bit as well, so we've got to stretch them out. And then coming up and just a few cat cows to finish off, pushing your spine up to the ceiling and up. Just two more and up and last one and push. And there you have it. Thanks for joining me with my football inner thigh and abs workout. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to working out with you again soon.